People are being charged with driving under the influence of cannabis based on arbitrary state standards that have no actual connection to impairment, according to a new study by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety. Six states where medical or recreational cannabis is legal, Colorado, Montana, Nevada, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Washington, have limits on how much THC can be in a driver's bloodstream. Another nine states, including some that have legalized medical cannabis, don't allow the presence of any THC in a driver's system. But according to AAA, the limits have no scientific basis and can result in innocent people being convicted and guilty people being set free. In Colorado, for example, drivers can only have five nanograms of THC in their blood. But attorney Robert Corey says that number was picked out of thin air by politicians. He added that innocent people are convicted of DUI because of this. According to Marshall Donny, AAA's president and CEO, there is understandably a strong desire by both lawmakers and the public to create legal limits for marijuana impairment in the same manner we do alcohol. In the case of marijuana, this approach is flawed and not supported by scientific research, he said. According to the foundation, the problem is that there's no way to tell if someone is impaired by cannabis or simply consumed the plant in recent weeks. People with high levels of THC in their systems might not be impaired at all, especially if they use cannabis regularly, while others with relatively low levels of THC in their systems may be too high to drive, particularly if they only smoke weed occasionally.